Hello writers, this is Chinmay from Mayfather Clinic, Pune. Uh, today I am going to show you something, uh, something totally different. While working on the motorcycle or while working on the disc brake or hydraulic system, uh, last in my last video I showed that I, uh, I was using some special tool to extract the brake fluid. That was a brake fluid extractor. When you are outside, when you are not in the workshop, and in fact. If you don't have any technician with you or the mechanic with you, you can use some of the tricks and tips. Like just in case if your brake fails, or just in case if you need to, uh, if you need to bleed the brake system, and you don't want to spend a lot of time behind bleeding, and you don't want to even damage the master cylinder. Generally, master cylinder gets damaged because of the pumping and heat. Because some of the seals get damaged immediately because of that. So you need to avoid that. In that case, if you are on road and if you don't have any kind of a support with you, if your braking system fails, somehow you manage to repair the braking system. But now, after that, the question how you can brake or how you can do the bleeding. Simple trick. What is the concept? The concept is basically you have to suck the air, whatever the air is there in the braking system or the network, you have to suck out the air. That means you have to remove all the air from the braking network. In that case, some, some shops, if some of the shops are nearby you or at least somehow, if you manage to go near to, near to uh, some kind of, you know, uh, village or something where some of the shops are there. From that side, you can buy some normal things. Even if you fail, even if that is also not there, what you can do? Brake fluid generally you get it at uh, petrol pumps and all, or any automotive shops, no wonder. Everything you might get, no wonder. But the problem is now, how you going to bleed? Now, to bleed the braking system, what I thought and how I worked on, is what I have done, I have used vehicle existing vacuum system. This is a classic 500. This has got vacuum, vacuum vent. The vent is basically given, the vent is given for PIV system, that is the pulse air valve system. The vacuum is basically created by the engine when it starts, right? It sucks whatever the air is there from outside if I open it up. That means I have to keep it in my mind. I have to remove the air from the braking system. How? It's very simple. Remove this EGR pipe or the P PIV pipe. I have just used one extension pipe since the whole uh, the uh, nipple is very small, so I am using small pipe. <laughs> For the demonstration purpose, I have already removed the brake fluid from the brake. So this has got no resistance at all, that means the brake is off, the brake is not working. Now, one point I have fitted to the PIV vacuum intake. Now, the second point, second point will be fitted over here. Make sure that the pipe is quite tight. Right? Keep the nipple open. Done. The keyword in this uh, trick is that when you are buying the pipe, make sure it has got enough length. Reason, whatever the brake fluid which will come inside the brake or the pipe from the network or from the master cylinder, it should not get sucked in by the engine inside the engine or commission chamber. Nothing will happen. That, that doesn't mean that you should damage. Right. So make sure you have enough length. Enough length. Now as I said that you can get the pipe from any hardware shop or something like that. Just in case if you are somewhere there is no help at all. Absolutely remote area. Just in case if you are carrying any fuel pipe that will also help you. If that in that case also if you fail, you can check out if there is any pipe 
in the bike which can be used for that then you can use this right now absolutely low there is no resistance i can't use the brake now i am on the road no technician no mechanic is with me do it yourself kind of a thing what i am going to do since i am in the workshop so i have kept a lot of things with me but somehow i am trying to keep myself as a mti now i am a helpless absolutely under frustration absolutely under tension now what to do because i need my brakes to go ahead without brakes you can't ride your bike now what i have done i have fitted one point at uh, vacuum intake and second point at brake nipple you just have to pour brake fluid till the mark in this case you have to start the bike when the vacuum will get created the brake fluid get it will get sucked in now the brake fluid will go inside now try to get the pipe transparent try to get pipe transparent so you can see it. now you we'll start the pipe as you can see the fluid is starting to come in Since the vacuum is too much, I don't need this much. That's it. Some people use, you know, they try to suck in, suck that air by mouth or something. But don't forget, it's a chemical. It has got some acid content inside, so you might hurt your own body. Don't do that. As you can see, see, I have resistance. Now our brake is started. No problem at all. See, that's it. Two minutes job. Two minutes job. I just need one pipe. This pipe you can use as a fuel pipe as well. If at all, if you want to use, so you have to think when you are going on the ride. You have to think about which spare will use or which spare I can use as an alternative spare or as a tool. Now the braking is absolutely fine. there is no problem at all i am with back on resistance how much time i took i took hardly 1 minute not even more than that so that means i can use the same motorcycle as a tool while repairing the motorcycle just in case if you don't have any vacuum outlet or if you are and if you are with uh, so i mean you have co rider or something and if that bike has got some vacuum outlet then you can use that motorcycle to bleed this motorcycle the same thing you can use it in car also car has got many vacuum outlets so you can put this kind of a wire or pipe to that vacuum pipe or the vacuum outlet and another end you can use it for bleeding purpose i don't need to spend lots of hello money when i am outside i don't need to depend on any kind of a technician or help just is this is like you know just in case if you are at remote place or something and absolutely no connectivity at all at least you can use this concept this concept will save you every time whenever you go outside just in case if your brake fails make sure you are going with such kind of a tools or spares which can be used as a alternative tool or spares thanks for watching have a nice day